opening sequence, flashing neon lights, heavy metal guitar riff, and fast-paced cuts of outrageous stunts. Host, in a Cockney accent, exaggerated, Hello there, me old chums. Welcome back to another episode of Madness Unleashed. Working title, we're going to workshop that. I'm your host, Chuck McAwesome. God. You know, the redditals will... Uh, redditals? <laughs> My genitals. These redditors will love that. Uh. And today, we're diving deep into the bleeding mental world of TikTok pranks. Gone bleeding bonkers. Cut to footage of Mizzy legging it through a blimey shopping mall in his bloomers chased by security guards. Chuck McAwesome, or our main culprit, the one and only Mizzy, disguises like a blooming time bomb of chaos and insanity. But hold on to your knickers, mate. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. It really factored. I just said video essay, not like a YouTube thing. Wow. And ring that bleeding bell, because we're about to unleash some blimey hilarious mayhem. He's really working blimey in there, huh? Transition to a split screen with Mizzy's TikTok footage on one side and Chuck on the other. I guess that's really important, you know, to have the face of the, the influencer or the host, right? Yep, yep. Because yep. you got to pump that face into people. You know, you got to pump it all. I got the sound. Board. Okay, that shouldn't be going through the. Uh, ooh, wow. ooh, that's not too Chuck McAwesome. Well, maybe it is. Mizzy started off in Coast. Wow, you dyslexia. Innocently enough, just your average prankster on TikTok. But then he started thinking things to it, or he started taking things to a, a right new level. A right. And by right new level, I mean breaking into people's bleeding homes for a bit of clout. Hello, sir. I'll have this. It will only cost you your peace of mind. You don't like having your house broken into. It's because I'm black. It's because I'm black. <laughs> Cut to a news report with a serious tone. News anchor. Breaking news. The notorious TikTok prankster known as Mizzy has been banned <laughs> from social media after breaking in any people's homes, In it, uh, Authorities are urging. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ergen. The public to remain vigilant and report any dodgy activity. Cut back to Chuck looking gobsmacked. Chuck McAwesome, can you believe it, mates? Missy thinking it would be a top idea to break into people's bleeding houses just for some likes and follows. Talk about taking things way too far. He's Australian now, yeah. But he is the kicker, dingo. Folks, <laughs> transition to... Uh, Footage of Mizzy standing on a train track, waving at the camera as the train approaches. Oh, man. What's it done with the train information? <laughs> this band didn't stop him. Oh, no. Mizzy's back at it. And this time, he's gone off the bleeding rails. Literally. He's hijacking trains and posting videos with titles like GTA 6 in real life. I mean, who does that? Cut to a montage of M Mizzy's train hijacking antics. Set to a right comical soundtrack. What's a good train song? What if we just put a, a song by the uh, the, the 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 artist, artist train? Artist. No, no, no. No, there's an artist named Train. We got to do that. And then, oh man, no, I can't. I forget. Trains are things, and they're more popular than the artist that happens to be. Train songs not helping either. Here's one. Drops of Jupiter. Now we're talking. Ew. Yeah. What's the problem? Let me turn it. It sounds like it's in another room. Give me that. Give me more of that. Let me pump that up. I'm sorry, but all of their music was super not for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this has to happen. Missy's become the real life Trevor from GTA. I can only imagine, and it would be f it would be fitting because these days they just be race swapping everybody for no reason. You know what I'm talking about? I just Woke. Woke, what? I said I just realized that I'm not the real 
realized why you were doing the train song. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Now it's now it's funny, right? You just thought I was putting on drops of Jupiter for no reason. You are a mess. <laughs> I can only I can only imagine Rockstar Games sitting back, rubbing rubbing their tummies with oil. You know. They're rubbing their hands together, loving this viral marketing madness. Cha-ching! That's word for word what I fed the fucking G the GPT, and it, it was like, okay, here's your here's your thing, all right. Cut to Chuck olden up a fake check. Why is this in the Cockney accent, too? You know? Everything is in the Cockney accent. I don't know. Chuck McAwesome. But mates... Let's not forget the consequences of Mizzy's actions. This bloke is breaking the bleeding law, endangering himself and others. It's not just hilarious, it's downright dangerous. <laughs> you okay? Now, a legal expert had this to say, Mizzy's stunts are not only illegal, but can also have serious repercussions. Trespassing, property damage, and risking lives. These ain't pranks, they're bleeding criminal acts. Mm -hmm. bleeding. The courts, like a, like a, like a uh, sheep. <sighs> the courts did the right thing by banning him from social media. Cut back to Chuck. You heard it straight from the legal expert, mate. This bloke is a blimey walking. A fucking leprechaun now. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're the racist. To me, all accents either sound British or Irish. <laughs> really? Okay. All accents. You heard that. <laughs> Shut up. Just those ones I'm talking about. Uh, oh, let's listen, to <laughs> listen to this Irish thing again. Okay. <laughs> oh, right, can I get you some potatoes? You fucking where you go? You blew it from Ireland. <laughs> Those Irish are always jumping me borders. <laughs> hey, you you won't be finding a pot of gold here, Mister Mexican, with that Irish accent. But let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> She's referencing an episode of Mike Tyson Mysteries. Of Mike Tyson Mysteries. I can't tell you what episode it is because it'll ruin it. But getting to the end, man, I really like snapped back to reality and was like, wow, I've just been I've been consuming this garbage. But let's not kid ourselves. There's a reason we can't look away. We love a good train wreck, pun intended. Wow. <laughs> I told it to be this way. Transition to a comedic skit. Where Chuck dresses up Mizzy attempting, or he dresses up as Mizzy attempting one outrageous stunt and failing hilariously. Just to clarify, mates, this is me pretending to be Mizzy, the bloke who can't tell the difference between a prank and a criminal offense. Seriously, do not try this at home. As much as can have a right laugh at Mizzy's absurdity, it's important to remember that pranks should always be harmless, consensual, and within the boundaries of the bleeding law. Well, mates, that's all the time we have. Go away now. You know what I mean? For today's episode of Madness Unleashed Working Title. Remember, be bonkers, but be smart about it. Don't leave a trail. I mean, I mean, you know, until next time. Stay blimin' awesome. There was enough bleating going on that it could feed an entire fucking group of chupacabras. A lot of bleating. It's always Mexican with you. What about the <laughs> vampires? Nicholas Holt. Yeah, vampires have Nicholas been Holt by, and, by and Nicholas so Cage. You, shut the fuck up. you know how many Nicholases are gonna be? I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a, a necklace out of Nicholases. <laughs> Nicholas necklace. Nicholas necklace. Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs>